Down the road, we will be looking at data to help you identify goals for your program. With the Carrying the Torch to Student Success model, goals for a comprehensive counseling program are based on student outcomes in each of the three school counseling domains, academic, college and career readiness, and student well-being. ASCA also asks that your outcome goals be related to achievement, attendance, and discipline. We will be looking at our school data to see how students are doing in these areas as we consider your goals. In addition to student data, you may also use other data such as student surveys, pre-post tests, needs assessments, focus groups, or even anecdotal information from teachers, administrators, parents, or other stakeholders to help inform or provide context about what might be affecting or impacting student achievement, attendance, or discipline. This is called supplemental data. Supplemental data helps you dig a little deeper and consider possible root causes for any gaps or discrepancies in student achievement, attendance, or discipline. For instance, you'd want to find out more about a certain class or grade level that has a higher number of absences and why it's happening. Perhaps results from a needs assessment survey you used showed that students are reporting more incidents of bullying or higher levels of stress or do not feel safe at school which could be contributing to the issues with attendance. These needs assessment survey results are an example of supplemental data, data that will help you target and prioritize goals for your program and begin to think about strategies for reaching your goals. Schools often use surveys or needs assessments to gather this type of supplemental data. Some use vendor surveys or even a locally created survey or needs assessment and your school may have some results you can use readily. You may also have information from your teachers or parents. However, there is an optional student needs assessment that you can use within our online platform. In your Carrying the Torch to Student Success account, click on the Needs Assessment link in the left-hand menu. You will then be able to preview, set up, and administer the assessment as it is convenient for you. The system will use the data provided to produce several useful reports. If you choose to use this survey, it's best to give it before starting Module 3 so that you have results as you begin looking at your data. Once again, I want to remind you that you could email me at rfraser at doe.in.gov if you need assistance. If your question pertains to the online platform, you can also contact Amy Portis of Inspire Success, our technical partner, at amy at inspiresuccess.org.